Hey, so yesterday I recorded the uh, video in Excel on uh, matrix operations and I made a commitment to you that I'd come back and do the same thing uh, in MathCAD so we could have a look at that environment. So uh, here I am, I had to switch over to my laptop because I don't have my uh, license on my desktop. Uh, so I'm on my laptop now, I've set up my system and we're gonna go through the same uh, problem. So uh, if you did watch the other video, you see that I've uh, uh, put up here uh, the same question we worked through uh, in uh, Excel. Uh, I've already filled in the first two matrices, but I didn't want to fill in the last one because I wanted to see, show you how easy it is uh, to do that. Uh, so I'm just going to put my cursor here and I'm going to start typing, uh, call this one C, again the uh, colon or shift uh, semicolon uh, to get to its definition. But in this case, because it's an array, we're going to have to go up to the matrices and tables tab over to the left, we see the insert uh, matrix. We press that, very much like putting a table into Word or something like that. We come down and we define the size. In this case, we have a three by one. So we're gonna uh, uh, put that there. It brings me in, it shows me where the first cell is. And then I just type in the values and I use the tab key uh, to go between them as the easiest. Otherwise you can just you point with your mouse and click. And now I have all three of my matrices defined. Now, this is where it gets easy. Uh, there are no secrets or, or real tricks uh, within MathCAD uh, like there was in Excel. So if I go through these little problems uh, in the order that they show up. So the first one we have is uh, A times B. So if I come down here and I go A, uh, multiply B, and I hit my equal sign, oh, it comes up with an error. Of course, it comes up with an error. As we saw in the last part of the tutorial, those two uh, matrices aren't compatible for multiplication because their orders aren't uh, appropriate. And so it comes up with an error. It's not going to let you do it. And of course, if this is an assignment, you're going to make a little comment as to why that is, and you're going to otherwise carry on. So let's move on to the next one. And it says uh, matrix A multiplied, sorry, I can't see my, my keys here. <laughs> Uh, multiplied by C, I hit my equal sign, and we get an answer. I'm just going to tidy that up, move it down a little bit, put it in a better spot. Now, uh, I'm going to roll, uh, keep going. So we have uh, A times B, A times C. Now we want A times B transpose. Now, absolutely, I can do B transpose. So to do B transpose, I do that. I go up to uh, my math. Uh, in the operators and symbols, I go into operations. Uh, there's vectors and matrix down below. You'll see there's transpose here. Transpose, I hit my equal sign and I get the transpose. But at the same time, there's no requirement to make that intermediary step. Let me get rid of that. And what I'm going to do down here, so I just go down, line it up. So the other one is I'm going to go A multiplied by B transpose we know where that is now it's down here and hit the equals no oh, what did i do i did something wrong there we go hit the equal sign i don't know what i pressed on the keyboard they got me in the wrong spot but now we have a times b transpose all in one step one simple line just by typing it in uh, so the final one on this set was to do a inverse so much like before a uh, and we want to raise to the power of negative one, hit the equal sign, and we get A inverse. So there's all of your basic matrix operations in MathCAD, straightforward, simple, said, and done. So to finish the uh, tutorial, like the one before, I prepared a, a second area here um, with, with the set of simultaneous equations. So we'll just set that up. So we have three matrices uh, or two matrices to set up, a third one to solve for. So let's set up the coefficient matrix and we'll call it A uh, equals, again, we go up into our matrix and tables. It's a three by three. And using the tab key, six, negative four, three, and I'm just reading them off the equations here, four, 11, minus seven, three, minus seven, and eight. 
And let's set up the what it's equal to, or call it the B matrix. Again, it's a three by one. And values of 14.5. Minus 3.5 and 47. So if I want to solve for uh, the x values, x1, x2, x3, uh, I'm going to basically take uh, the inverse of a, multiply it by b, and that will give me the x uh, matrix. So x is equal to uh, a to negative one multiplied, oh, you gotta come down, multiplied by B equals, and we have the solution to our problem as it was laid out. Now, one thing I did want to show you, because of course, if this was in Excel, you'd have easy access to those uh, components. Uh, just by going to the cell number, we can reference them here. So if, for example, I wanted to pick up one of them, uh, you have to use the uh, array subscript, so with the uh, square brackets key. And if I were to choose, say, x1, and we hit our equal sign, we get a value of 6.209. And you go and ask yourself, well, why is that x1? Why isn't that x2? Well, that's because we haven't switched our origin. One of the options, and, and I would normally switch my origin, but I, I left it there so I could show it to you. If we go up to Calculations tab, and we see it origin is set to zero. That means that the numbering of the arrays, as far as the indexing of the arrays, starts at zero. And if we wanted to start at one, we can just switch that. And now you see x1 is equal to 1.11. And we can get the values of x2 and x3. So that's it. We've uh, done just about everything we did in the other tutorial. There's a bunch more you can do with matrices. MathCAD's a, a great little environment for a lot of things. So I wanted to show that to you in direct comparison to how we do matrices in Excel. I wish you good luck.